Hi, my name is Katie Sherry, physical therapist and author of Running Rewired. I'm going to help guide you through a little hip check to see where you are and find out if you actually need hip mobility work or not. One of the things you can do, we have outlined in the book, is something called the hip flexor test. You're going to basically get in a half kneeling position. You're going to put your hands on your pelvis, such a way your thumbs are in front and your fingers are backwards. And what you're going to do, keeping your thigh vertical, that's the important part, you're going to take your pelvis and you imagine it's like a bowl of cereal, and I want you to spill the bowl back behind you. So what you're doing is you're opening up the distance from the front of your pelvis down the front of your thigh. This is really important because when you run, we want to make sure we can actually get the hip to extend behind the body. And those of you who lack hip extension are gonna see that your hip and your low back extend. This is not what we want. It can cause a major issue with low back pain as well as preventing you from using your hips properly as you run. So, do this test, tuck back. If you feel a big stretch in through here, you're probably somebody who needs to spend some time stretching. If you don't feel stretch in here, you probably don't need to add in extra hip mobility work. But, we always wanna make sure we're bouncing off having range of motion with using range of motion. So step two is something called a pigeon hip extension. And what you're gonna do is help your body use the motion at your hips more effectively. What I'm gonna have you do is get down onto a kind of pigeon position. If you wanna stay up high, you can. If you don't go down low, you can. This is not a stretch, right? So we're using this front leg here to lock us down. Then what we're gonna do, you're gonna put your toes back behind you, uh, so they're curled under. I want you to put your finger on your butt. I'm gonna have you squeeze your butt nice and tight. Then you're going to straighten out that back leg. Here's the key thing. Keep this glute engaged as you lower the knee back down actively to the ground, then relax your butt. So again, that cue is butt on, hip extended, let that knee come back down on the floor, keeping the glute on, then relax the glute. Try and knock out 20 reps or so. This can be pretty challenging for those of you who have some control issues in your hip complex. It's a great way to help you learn to drive your hip back behind you as you're running without cheating your low back.